Good morning, you glorious people. How are we doing today? So, got a new Node video set up for you. Um, it's pretty cool to do. Uh, it doesn't cost anything right now. Uh, it's Mysterium Network, as you see here on the screen. Uh, it's, it's in TestNet, similar to what PreSearch is. So we're going to go through steps one by one on how to get this set up. Got the guys in the background who have been working on this specifically, and we'll name those guys because they deserve the credit. Uh, but let's get into it. All right, so I've made an effort not to do complicated node videos. This is going to be straightforward and simple, okay? Uh, what do you need? Number one, you need a VPS from RackNerd. It's $23 a year. Right here is the link, and if you need a, uh, an easier link to see, I'll put it up on the screen here. There you go. You can write that down. I'll also have this in the description of the video, so you can be able to just copy and paste it. It's no big deal. Uh, set you up a simple account, rent you a VPS for a year, and then you're on your way. Next thing you'll need is to create a simple account on my.mysterium.network forward slash login. Make you an account. You verify your email, you're in. Once you get that done, you'll see your dashboard pop up. Once your dashboard pops up, we'll go through all of this. You'll have your affiliate link, your API key, and uh, then you'll be ready. All right, you're gonna download Putty. We're gonna use Putty. There's only one line of code, so no worries. It's not that complicated at all. And you'll need an Ethereum address for your awards to be to be deposited into, okay? It's not that complicated at all, right? So I'm gonna show you this step-by-step. Step. We're gonna walk through it one thing at a time here. I think you're gonna like it. One item I left out. Again, these don't cost anything right now. They will cost in the future, okay? It'll cost a thousand Mysterium tokens in the future. You'll see this me talking about this later on in the video here. Uh, right now, the cost is like 89 cents. I've already bought some, but you have the opportunity to buy some now. So. Uh, it's up to you. However many nodes you want to run, you need a thousand per node. You get them on Bitrix, Uniswap, or PancakeSwap. Uh, Uniswap is probably the easiest, or PancakeSwap if you want to use BN, uh, BSC Network on your MetaMask, you can, whichever one you want. But you can get them on both of those. Either way, they'll release that detail when we get there. Right now, it's still, it's still, it's still testnet. So only thing you're paying for is VPS. Hey, real quick, one thing I forgot to mention here is the rewards. Made a little graphic for you. Uh, if you're doing a residential node which is one on your computer then you're going to make a little more but again it uses your bandwidth if you're using a server which is what we're doing well you don't make as much however you're not using your computer okay there's two different ones and we'll go over that in a minute but here's a little graphic that kind of tells you how much you know about 32 bucks but again the global ones make a little less so figure 15 to 20 a month during testnet all right here's our my.mysterium.network forward slash login screen this is where you're gonna create your setup. If you don't have one, you see the top right corner here behind the watermark. You take the watermark off for you and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. There you go. Uh, you see it says sign up in the corner right there. Click on it, create you a simple account. I already have an account as you see, so I'm just gonna log into mine. When we log in, you'll see it actually shows one of my nodes running right now. Okay, I've already set one up, so I know this works. So there's no complications, right? Okay, we know this works. It's a working system. Now, as you see here, we have our link up here at the top. This is our link that we're gonna use to put in when we get going here. I'll show you more as we go along. All right, here's where you download Putty, putty.org. I picked the top one. I did the 64-bit. Uh, it's not that difficult to figure out here, right there. I did this one. Your system may be different. That's up to you to figure out, okay? Uh, everybody's got a different setup. You could be on Windows. You could be on an old school Windows 98 joint. I don't know. So that's on you to figure out. This is just the one I use. All right, here's our Rack Nerd screen. Uh, if you click on the affiliate link, it's going to send you to a thing that says pick the one you want. What you'll do is you'll pick the one you want. The one that you want is going to be one that's already pre-installed with Docker. You'll see it pop up that says Docker 8. It says Ubuntu 18.04 Docker pre-installed. You click on it, you pay for it, okay? It's not really that complicated. After that, you're gonna go to your email log so you can find your login password and login instructions. So I'm gonna click on view email log right here. And as you see, you're gonna have this screen pop up with all your login details. Yes, I have several VPSs. Sue me. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna go to one of the end ones uh, and find my login details. Um, for my server that I'm going to set up. As I said, I've already got one going. 
So as I get this done, I'm gonna pull up putty and we'll get it inputted and stuff and uh, you'll see the next step. All right, I found one that I wanted to use here. Um, this says, you know, hey, here's your details. I'm not gonna scroll down because then you'll see my login credentials and I don't want you to see my login credentials, but this is the window that you want. You'll just scroll down a little bit here and you'll find your IP address and your password. And we're gonna input it into Putty right here. Uh, I've already downloaded Putty and this is what it looks like once you download it, okay? We're gonna put our IP address in this spot right here, this blank section right here. It's flashing with the cursor. Uh, and then we'll put our password in on the next screen. All right, I've put my IP address in. This popped up and asked me, do I want to accept? Yes, I want to accept. We're going to log in as root. So R O O T, enter. Ask me for my password. I'm not going to show you my password, so give me a second. All right, I've got my password. Copy and paste it. All I'm going to do is right click and hit enter. Welcome to Rackner. Welcome to Rackner's VPS system. Now you're the, the root user. Now it's time to input our code. What code? Well, I've got it for you right here. I always use notepad for this. I'll just pull up a quick notepad. Once I get the notepad pulled up, I'll have all my codes that I need, all right? You have a couple options here. You can run this first simple code, which is just an updater, okay? I've already updated mine, so you might not even need to do this. It's just an option. Really, the only one you need is this second code, this sudo e bash curl yada yada. So I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna right click and hit enter. Give it a moment to run and do its code. It won't take too long. We'll actually stay here with you while this happens. This code will be input on the screen. Oh, not on the screen, on the description of the video on YouTube. So all you need to do is copy and paste it just like the other videos that I've done. And you'll be able to input this code yourself. Uh, as you see, it's running and doing its thing. Pretty neat, huh? There'll be a couple more steps after this and I'll show you what I'm talking about when those get there. Almost finished, reading the package list now. About 50% done. Let me continue to wait a second. <laughs> it took about two minutes the first time I did it. No alcohol, it's too early in the morning. <laughs> Still going, 75%. 97% getting there waiting <laughs> come on just finish there we go if you notice it says installation complete right here okay very good now I can run this one as well to check your node pseudo system status mysterious node service I just started it. I'm going to go ahead and tell you, it's probably not going to start showing me that it's working yet. So, you know what I'm saying? Give it like five minutes after you run this code and make sure you give it some time to start. All right. Now, next step. Do you remember that part where I said, hey, get your IP address and your password? Now you need your IP address again. So that same VPS server that you rented for the year, you're going to input that IP address into the search bar now. Okay. You're gonna input it in the search bar and you're gonna put colon 4449 afterwards. We're gonna come up here, we'll paste, then we'll put colon 4449 and we'll hit enter. Now we're gonna go through the process of setting our node up. There you go. Start node setup. Yes, I wanna start node setup. Let's rock. It asked me for my bounty payout address. I need an ERC wallet address for this, okay? So, I'm gonna go pull up my MetaMask wallet and click copy, and I'm gonna use this Ethereum address. I'll click next. Yes, that's my Ethereum address, no big deal. All right, now it asked me for a password. Make your own password here. It's up to you to do your own thing here. I know what mine's gonna be. Nice complicated one. Claim this node, wanna click that. It asks for your API token, remember this? Right here's your API token on your dashboard, okay? I'm gonna copy that. Go back up here, right click and paste, save and continue. Yeah, I want to save. 
Give it a second here. It's gonna dance around and do its thing. My identity, my identity is being verified. <laughs> Give it a second to finish off here. <clears throat> like I said, it took about two minutes or so once I started this process to get all this kind of get the wheel spinning. Again, this is no cost. You don't have to pay anything right now. It's testnet. Only thing you're paying for is the VPS to uh, run it. That's it. Pretty neat, huh? Um, it will cost a thousand Mysterium tokens later on. Um, in fact, as this spools up, well, it just finished, but uh, Mysterium is running about 89 cent per token right now. And, and to look at the long-term chart, this is what I do uh, before I do anything, before we do any node projects to look at a chart. Uh, I like a dollar sixty, you know, two dollars and a half, three dollars here, uh, with high end targets around twenty seven, sixty one, and one ninety seven. That sounds crazy, right? Yeah, people said I'm crazy before, and I've showed you exact prices. So right now it'd be about eight hundred ninety dollars per node. So if you want to go ahead and buy your Mysterium tokens, up to you. I'm not going to tell you what to do with that. It's your money. Now, once you've clicked on this, it says Bounty Pilot. To participate, go to settings, right, and enter your and enter your code. I'm going to go to settings. I've already done this, already done it. So I'm just going to click save right here. Save. We've already saved it. We're good to go. Okay. There you go. Bounty, bounty save. Stop. Now I have two nodes running instead of one. Okay. Pretty cool. Now I want to show you this uh, because it's going to throw you off at first. But you're gonna constantly see these things clip in and clip out. Now you see I had one up here running before, now I have two, okay? You'll constantly see them drop out, drop in, drop out, drop in, and they act kind of funky, okay? That's okay, it's test net, just like pre-search when everybody constantly asks me, oh gosh, is my node running? It keeps saying test, and it keeps saying, it, the little green plug goes off. Okay, well this is the same way, okay? They're running updates, they're doing things. The top one you see right there, I've had running for two days, I've made 13 cents, okay? Not great. Bottom line is you're going to make your money back on your VPS, just like pre-search. Uh, but what we've noticed is the second month rewards are far better than the first month rewards. So hang with it. Bear with it. Like I said, you're not paying anything for this yet. So what's the big deal? All you're, all you're busting the money on is the VPS. Okay. I don't, tell, don't spend more than you can't afford on VPS services. I already have a lot going. So I'm going to go ahead and set a lot of these nodes up. Uh, later on, I will put my Mysterium tokens on them that I've already purchased. I've already got them and sitting on the sideline. I bought them in a little cheaper. I bought about 58 cents. Um, so I'm going to I'm gonna stake them when the time comes. And we expect rewards to change too, but that time isn't here yet. By the way, you're done with Putty now. Uh, like I said, you can run the code to check and make sure it works if you'd like. Uh, I know mine's running. You just saw it. So I'm going to just exit out. All right. Um, next, we're just going to wait, wait for your rewards to come in and we'll end the video off here. All right. One little thing I left out, went back and edited this. If you click on your node, you can see what's going on with it. And it's also best to rename these nodes the same as your IP address. You can see my IP address here and you see the name over, uh, over on the other screen. Well, I'm going to change the names. So you can see it a little better so I can remember which ones are which. It's a little easy for me because I've got mine on my list, but still you could change it. Uh, obviously, this is for residential bounty. Residential bounty is if you're running this node on your computer, like through Windows PowerShell, or if you want to run it on your on your Mac. Uh, I didn't do that. I did VPS. I did an off-site server. Okay. Uh, this way, it doesn't use my computer's and my home internet bandwidth because uh, I do live streams and other things. I don't want to use that bandwidth up. You can do that if you'd like. They do make more. As you see, mine is a global bounty here. I'm position 1484. The higher the position you get, you get an extra bounty if you get all the way up to the top five. I haven't had one get into the top five yet. So it's just part of it. Um, it even tells you your stats down here if you want to dig around into it a little bit and look, you know, you can, you can, you can dig through and see how you want to see about that. Again, we're doing global, not residential. Last little edit here. Uh, glad I edit videos because I forget things sometimes when I get talking. But if you have an, answer, have an issue where it stops, your node stops and you want to restart it, there's a simple restart uh, script here. Uh, sudo system clt1 restart mysterium dash node dot service okay this will also be in the description of the video so if your node goes offline and you want to restart it you can you just jump on your putty log in and put the code in and it'll restart okay again there's a check one there 
Number three, to check your node. This is similar instead of, you know, status, it's restart. Not that complicated, right? Right. So again, in the description of the video in case you need it. All right, so check it out. Thank you guys. Uh, credit goes to Papa Nick Fresh, uh, the real node catcher, Tony. Uh, I appreciate you, dude. You did a great job on this. Um, Corey, uh, it's a sleeper. Nothing goes here. Super helpful here. Um, these three guys were kind of the, the lead of the pack here. They went ahead and got the nodes set up before anyone else. They were checking on rewards for anyone else, uh, especially Tony. Tony had his running for a couple months. Um, super cool people. And if I didn't have the nodes group, we wouldn't have been able to figure this out. Okay. If you'd like to join the nodes group, you need to hit me up on Patreon at Carolina Keith forward slash uh, patreon.com forward slash Carolina Keith. Uh, but I can't do anything unless you do that. So, um, again, I'm available. If you got any questions, try to hit me up and ask them till then, like I said, we're not going to earn much at first, but this will eventually turn the corner. It's always best to be early on nodes. We've said this a hundred times. Okay. Said it, said it till I'm blue in the face. A lot of people don't like to listen. I can't help you if you don't want to listen. Okay. So from me, from the guys in the nodes group, from the assassins, thank you all very much. We'll get this video shot up on the internet. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.